A showdown in the Texas House is growing as the special session enters week two. More than 50 House Democrats are in D.C. tonight. There's footage from their flight. It's all part of the effort to stop voting on that contested election integrity bill. Today, House Republicans voting to track down those Democrats and even arrest them if necessary. But the move doesn't hold much weight since Texas law enforcement doesn't have jurisdiction in the nation's capital. Although Republicans hold a majority in both chambers, Democrats have the numbers to stop proceedings during the special session. The Senate is expected to vote on the election reform bill today. But without quorum, nothing can be done in the chambers. That's absolutely right. Tonight, 25 News reporter Austin Walker walks us through what happens now. Monday, Texas House Democrats flew to our nation's capital in protest against the special session called by Governor Greg Abbott, where 11 bills have the potential to become law, including the voting rights bill. Now, Democrats took to Capitol Hill this morning, saying they're doing this to protect democracy, while Republicans are left on the House floor angry with their departure. Tuesday morning, Texas House Democrats standing shoulder to shoulder in Washington, speaking out against what they call injustice. A Republican-backed House bill that would add stricter voting laws. It would make mail-in ballots harder, ban drive through voting centers, and limit the hours at the poll. Democrats calling this bill, quote, Jim Crow 2.0, racist and discriminatory, disenfranchising voters and intimidating some from the polls. Representative Ben Lamont says walking out of the chamber with unfinished business is disrespectful. And so when I see members vacating their post, you know, and, and abandoning their duty, you know, it's, it's disheartening. We're not doing this for Democrats. We're doing this for Republicans. We're doing this for independents. We're doing this for North Texans and South Texans and East and West Texans. We're doing this for Catholics and Protestants. Anybody in the state of Texas who needs to exercise the right to vote should do so freely. Governor Greg Abbott says he is prepared to call yet another special session if Democrats do not return but this leaves us with yet another question. When will we see progress on either side? Reporting in Waco, Austin Walker, 25 News. Austin, thank you. Now we're hearing a, lo a lot about this word quorum. So what is it and what exactly can it be broken? That is when the number of members, that is the number of members required to be present for the legislature to conduct business. In both the House and Senate, two thirds of elected members must be present. Now, quorum can't be broken until the House or Senate officially gavel into session. When the Democrats left yesterday, it was obviously an effort to prevent that from happening. In the meantime, President Biden lashing out at Republicans. Biden speaking in Philly today, saying the growing number of changes to election laws are, quote, the greatest threat to the integrity of U.S. elections since the Civil War. Biden even calling the restrictive measures an assault on liberty. There's an unfolding assault taking place in America today, an attempt to suppress and subvert the right to vote in fair and free elections, an assault on democracy, an assault on liberty. Biden also calling on Congress to pass the John Lewis Voting Rights Act and Forward the People Act. But Senate Democrats haven't been able to get enough support to start debating voting rights legislation at this time. VP Kamala Harris is set to meet with the Texas House Democrats this week. This isn't the first time that Texas politicians fled across state lines amid legislative battles. The last time happened, it was in 2003. Democrats were trying to block Republicans from redrawing congressional districts. More than 50 Democrats fled to a hotel in Oklahoma, and when the time for the bill expired, they came back. Governor Rick Perry later called a special session, and 11 Senate Democrats went to New Mexico. But after about a month, one person returned, and the redistricting plan passed.